Ladies and gentlemen, compatriots on this boat with me, welcome to Captain of Industry. I'm your captain, Orbital Potato, and we are cruising the seven seas of efficiency and factory automation. That's right. Uh, things are things are a little dicey at the moment, just because at the end of the last episode, Ed, there was a slight issue with uh, with coal extraction. The issue with coal extraction was that I had the uh, was that I had the the sort of digging area, the mining area, uh, not set to include the the brand new the brand new the brand new area which we need to be extracting from. And as a consequence, our maintenance is kind of you know just just taking a little bit of a little bit of a pummeling. Uh, because we don't have any coal in the loose storage bin over here, and we don't have any coal in the loose storage bin over here, or here, or here, or anywhere. Uh, it's kind of essential, because we need power, obviously, and that's the problem. Uh, although, that being said, I mean, we do still have, we do still have one of our nuclear turbines, or nuclear turbine systems running, so we could actually fairly easily get, uh, get this up and running. I mean, we're gonna be... We're gonna be fine in the grand scheme of things. Let's get, let's get that planned in there, and then let's just go about connecting up um, our second, our second turbine system. Yeah, I think there's absolutely no reason not to just, not to just go ahead and do that. Uh, the one thing that I worry about: are we gonna have enough? Are we gonna have enough capacity in just this pipe? I'm not sure that we will. Let's, let's try and expand this here. Do continue. Uh, yep, build that automatically. There we go. Add more water, perhaps, than we need to. And then let's take out a separate pipe here. Just like so. Nice. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So we can actually start... We can actually start power production. I mean, right now, basically. There's no reason, there's no reason not to. We can quick build this. I mean, we got 127 unity. We got plenty of unity. Uh, there are a couple of things that I do want to do over the course of this episode that are uh, kind of majorly important. Uh, we'll chat about them in just a second. Uh, let's crank this up to, to two levels and let's see if we, let's see if we can supply enough water. I think that we should be able to, but I am not 100% sure. Working. Yeah, it looks... Looks like we're fine. I mean, our power situation has has rectified itself. Are we getting enough uranium rods? That's the other question that I have. Uh, uranium pellets. We do need to check on uh, uranium pellets. Uh, everything's going to get back to normal soon. I mean, it's just a matter of time, really, before all of the the maintenance starts coming back. We might have a couple of issues with maintenance in the in the meantime or whatever, but I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. Uh, right. What was I checking? Oh yeah, I was checking uranium pellet production. Looks like the settling tank is working just fine. The The real issue that we had in the last episode was with acid, but that looks like it's been entirely rectified now. Uh, there is still there is still the issue with uh, acid supply to over here, but it looks like we're we're managing we're managing just fine, and we're getting a decent amount of a decent amount of household electronics coming through. We do need a lot of electronics, actually. We do need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of electronics, but. That's okay. I'm thinking that we, one of the things that we probably want to do over the course of this episode, maybe the next episode as well, is to get a brand new copper area up and running. And in fact, I think I'm going to zone all of these trees for deconstruction. In fact, is this area even accessible? No, not yet. That's, that's okay. It will be, it will be soon. But let's get, uh, let's get all of this sort of queued up just so that we can get rid of it. Now we do actually use trees for something. But I can't for the life of me remember what we actually use trees for. Oh no, I do remember what we use trees for. It's uh it's over here. Yeah, it, it is it is over in this vicinity. It's uh yeah, it's it's right here. There's also there's also the possibility. Yeah, let's yoink in a let's yoink in a storage module here. Yeah, I'm gonna try sticking that in there. And then pause. We can toggle the navigation overlay. Is it traversable it's not irritatingly enough okay let's cancel that and we can try we can try building somewhere else anyway uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and create a system we're gonna try and create a system which allows us to use 
I'm just going to build it here. This is probably bad form because, you know, technically we could use this dock for something else. We could use it to install some more unit modules uh, for wood storage or, you know, stuff like that. But I don't really think that I care about that right now. Let's get that in there and then let's deconstruct. Deconstruct that, deconstruct that, deconstruct that. Yeah, get rid of it all. Uh, what we want to do here, we want to get a bouncer. Is it a bouncer? Yeah, it is a bouncer. Get a bouncer in there. Perfect. That's already queued up for deconstruction. I can help it along just a little bit. And stick that in there. And that in there. We will quick build. Quick build, quick build, quick build it all. And it looks like we have, well, we, we would have had, we would have had the, the, the components delivered if that truck didn't break down. I repaired it just so that we can, so that we can keep things good. Uh, this needs to be set on wood and we need to do keep full if we can. We don't allow truck export from there, so there shouldn't be any problems. Right, we want to prioritize incoming products to ports marked O, which should allow us to prioritize should allow us to prioritize local inputs which i think is quite nice because we do have we do have a singular wood harvester and we can get one ah, we can get one vehicle assigned i think that's i think that's probably fair yeah right so we're back we're sorted for power i mean this 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 area actually is probably good for disassembly let's be let's be brutally honest we don't even need this area it's probably good to keep it around for you know the purposes of redundancy and whatnot but it's pretty inefficient and it burns coal, which is, you know, kind of a massive problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. No valid destinations to deliver copper ore. I mean, you know that that's just complete nonsense. And what happened to our other copper mine over here? Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Oh, this entire time we've not actually been mining copper? Oh, that's deeply frustrating. That's deeply frustrating indeed. Ugh. A real pain in the backside. Okay. Get back to work there. Get back to work. Uh, we can probably make some, some copper trades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll trade all of our construction component level ones. And we'll trade some construction component level twos as well uh copper ore we don't need copper ore 10 uranium rods for 200 copper ore maybe take some electronics sure but there is a better deal somewhere that's the one one two three four i think we'll leave it there yeah that's that should be fine okay right i was chatting about things that i want to do this episode first of all i want to do the ground water well reconstruction i want to start importing water because i think that is the way that we take our water supply uh, to the next level i also want to not repair an oil rig what did i want to do i wanted to repair another ship do we have any more ships that's a good question we might have repaired all of the ships on the map Ooh, yeah we absolutely might have okay well that is potentially that's potentially an issue. Okay, uh, right. Well, we are using, I believe, all of our, all of our ships, which we, which means that we want to three, four, five. Okay, we've only got five docks. We've only got five docks. We can actually still, we can do, we can do a bit more stuff. That's fine. That's fine. That is not a problem at all. I think we'll be, I think we'll be okay. Right, so the trading dock, the trading dock has got a whole bunch of copper ore in it, and it's, what? Why is the copper ore not being delivered here? Why is the copper ore being stored here? That's a peculiar one. Even though I've got it on keep empty, we're moving copper ore over here? What? I'm really not worried about anything here. I, I really am not worried about anything at all. We have so much power production capability that it's that it's kind of crazy. Uh, but this just sort of really highlights exactly why we need to rework all of our copper production. And we need to create a new place uh, to, to keep the copper. How on earth are we storing copper here? Why are we doing that? 
maybe it was just i guess it was just like redundant trucks that were that were just chilling over here i i, I don't know uh we can ditch this mine control tower although it hardly seems like a priority to get rid of it right now no i think we'll i think we'll leave that for for a little bit yeah where's our where's our copper mining operation yeah our copper mining operation is fine we should probably get another excavator over here yeah, it seems maybe that we would need to get a second a second excavator, but that's okay. Right, we're still putting we're still putting this together. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. We're using the copper to actually Yeah, build the power generators. That that makes not perfect sense, but it does make sense, you know. The copper here is just being solely used to build electronics, which to be fair, is kind of the way that I want it to be because we need electronics for maintenance level two. We haven't run out of maintenance level two yet, but if we do, our reactor is going to go kaput. And I don't want my reactor uh, to start going meltdown all over again. No siree. That's not what we want. We need to try and avoid that at absolutely all costs. <laughs> so that's what we're going to try and do. Now, how are, how are the super highways coming along? We are so flipping close to finishing this off. We are really, really close. Let's get, uh, let's get like the last few bits and bobs zoned in here so that we can try and cool everything down a little bit. Okay, good. Nice. Let's boost all this. Boost all this. I have the Unity. I mean, we are in a great place for Unity. I don't need to tell everyone that we're in a really, really good place for Unity. It's, it's nice. Truck can't reach destination. Where are you trying to go to? Really? Uh, okay, I am not quite sure why that is inaccessible. Not quite sure why it's inaccessible now, but it's previously been accessible. That is a very peculiar one. Okay, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that a little bit later. I need to stop mining uh, limestone over here as well. I need to start moving limestone to the to the new area. That's pretty essential. That is pretty darned essential. That's fine. Copper, yeah, we need to really swap. We need to swap it up. Let's minus an excavator over there and plus an excavator over here. How are we doing moving trees? Ah, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad at all. Pretty happy with everything as it turns out. That's not too bad. Not too bad, even slightly. But yeah, lots of copper. Lots and lots and lots of copper is needed. And uh, we are in the unfortunate position where we just don't have a lot of copper. I guess part of the issue is that it's just taking a long time for all of the, the copper ore deliveries to go through. I mean, it makes sense that it takes a while because, you know, it's a long drive, I guess. Here comes that second excavator. That's good. The other thing that we're going to have to acknowledge happening quite soon is that this this pass that we built through the mountain i guess to you know we obviously uh, we cut through the the iron ore area we're going to have to we're going to have to concern ourselves with the fact that this is no longer going to exist soon ish uh, there's still a little life left in it but you know we got to acknowledge the fact that we're slowly but surely uh, going to excavate this area and that's going to make the drive a little bit longer although by the time that the drive does become a little bit longer in fact, I think we've already... Yep, we absolutely have. We have finished the, the little superhighway that we intended to build here. So that is really, really nice. I, I like that a lot. That is very, very good. I think we probably want to do something similar. Just sort of thinking of more connections and highways that I can build. We want to get onto this plateau here. That's, a, uh, that's another priority because we don't actually have access at this present moment. So let's... How's that? That's not too bad. That's nice. Uh, let's not even bother with... Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so we can, we can get access to this plateau soon as well. And then what I think we also want to do is I think we also want to create a shortcut up here 
So this is gold, as we know, but gold is useless at the present moment, so that's fine. Let's see, what do we got up here? This is level... That's level 50. That's quite... That's quite high. 37, this is level 37 as well. Right, and then let's dupe this. And that's 50. Right, okay, so we've got two other sort of infrastructure areas that we can that we can work on. We'll also zone something over here. Uh, this is going to be nightmarish. Is this even going to work? I don't even think this is going to work. Yeah, that looks a little nasty. That looks a little nasty to me. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to move this further back. You know what? This is, this doesn't even matter. I'm just it's, it's whatever. It's a, it's a faff. We we can we can worry about that. We can worry about that later. Uh, let's wait until all of the mining areas have been have been cleared out for the for the highway, and then we can and then we can look at new uh, new buildings and stuff, etc. That's that's just fine. Right, acid production is looking great. I mean, if I was to do this again, to be honest, I really like this this chemical production area. I really, I really like it. I think it's got some real character. Uh, the fact that it's built on the edge of a, you know, <laughs> a massive coal pit is also kind of cool, but is also kind of a huge issue, really. It's a pretty big issue uh, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but I like it. I like the way that it's designed. I like the ratios. It, it's it's fine. In fact, I actually like both of my, you know, sort of petrochemical areas. Uh, I really like this one. Uh, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. There's a lot of issues, but none of them really matter, uh, I don't think. Apart from the maintenance. Yeah, maintenance is a bit of an ongoing issue, I gotta be honest. Bit of an ongoing issue. Whatever. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, if I was to do if I was to do this again, what would I do differently? I would leave more space. I'd leave more space for all of the sour water processes and stuff because ammonia, actually super important, and uh, acid, as it turns out, also kind of super important. Really, really imperative that we that we maintain the uh, the access for that. Also, you know what I'm thinking? If we redo this area right here, quick remove that, and then we get a U-shaped conveyor. And we do a little... We do a little journey like that. I mean, it looks really, really funky. But you gotta, you gotta just appreciate for a second that it will now give us access, which might be slightly closer to the limestone storage area. And that will work, I think. I hope. Keep that sulfur full. Oh yeah, we need to turn off exports there so that we don't end up faffing around with uh, anything else. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. We still need power, and the reason that we don't have power, of course, is because of maintenance. I suspect that something in the nuclear turbine area has gone down. Oh yeah, that I need to really make sure that this doesn't go down. This is a really, really big problem. Uh, what? Fill outputs? We've got exports. Holy cow. Oh, we've got too much water. We've got too much water in the system. Oh, this is like a... This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare scenario. This is an absolute nightmare scenario. Uh... Um... I, I'm not happy. This is concerning. Right, let's let's just buffer our water over here. I thought I had... Maybe this process... I mean, I think we re recycle like 100% of the water from the nuclear process. So I kind of shouldn't be... I shouldn't be surprised that this ended up happening. But I am surprised nonetheless. Shocked Pikachu face. There we go, okay. Right, so our nuclear reactor is gonna stop going critical. We are still like, we, we got some emergency coolant in place, which is thankfully keeping things relatively chill. Uh, the maintenance going down there, that's not a big deal. Did I, 
In fact, it's not even a, it's a tiny deal. It's not even, it's, it's negligible. It's really negligible. Uh, we are venting a lot of steam, which means that there is uh, a lot of emergency cooling that is, that is kicking in. Which I guess is fine, because it's using up some of our water, turning <laughs> turning some of our excess water into into emergency coolant. Uh, you don't love to see it, but it is happening. Uh, so there you go. Oh well. Okay, no mining designations are available within the tower area. That's kind of to be expected. Let's start the process of moving our limestone operations over to the other side of the map. Uh, yeah, I mean, if we have a little look here. I mean, this whole area is mines... Minestone? Limestone. Let's... Let's... I can't even bloom and see what I'm doing. Let's take the top off these mountains here. Yeah, let's take the top off those mountains. It should be fine. We're dumping specifically over here. Do I want to dump specifically over here? Not really. I think we should probably have somewhere a little bit more accessible. It doesn't really make sense to have the same mind control tower do it, but I guess, you know, the, the great thing is, is that we're not gonna... If there were a lot of routes connected, we wouldn't have to, we wouldn't have to redo all of the routes. Ah, whatever. It's, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. It is gonna take about a billion years for the excavator to travel all the way to the other side of the map. Which is maybe making me think... Is it sensible to, to use an old mine control tower or should I just use a new one? I really should just use a new one. I don't know why I'm using the same one. The problem really is, is that when the, um, when the, when the designated area runs out or when the, you know, the, the excavators have dug out all of the, the stuff, uh, one, two, three, four, let's get four and then let's unassign Unassign you from there, unassign you from there. And in fact, I'm not going to destroy that uh, that one, but there's no reason to keep the area the same. Uh, we'll do something like that. Sure, whatever. Just leave it. Leave it there for now. Uh, yeah, the problem is, is that when all of the excavators are finished doing their uh, mining operations, they go and stand next to the, the mine control tower that they're assigned to, which means that the excavator would have to sort of commute all the way back to the other side of the, the map. And that just sounds like a miserable experience. So I'd be, yeah, just better off getting a new one. All right, how are we doing for nuclear nuclear bits and bobs? Yeah, we're fine. Uh, we might need to increase our uranium pellet production, but I think we should be I think we should be okay. As long as all of our nuclear processes are just continuously running, I think we'll be grand. I think we will be just grand. And unity wise, we're in a great place for unity. Our unity cap of 220 hasn't even been met yet, so that's so that's fine. Are we doing better for? copper production yet. I mean, it feels like we're not really. And yet, we should be. Lack of water, lack of crop water, that is a problem. I do need to redo the crops. I feel like I really should redo all of the farms, just give myself a whole bunch of extra space. Maybe that's something that we can, that we can consider at some point in the future. But for now, we're just happy that copper is being produced, and we'll get a new copper. Uh, we'll get a new copper area, or at least we'll get the sort of the the, the basics down. We'll get the basics down. Got to be honest, though, I'm really happy with everything that is happening right now, with the exception of maybe copper. I think we're I think we're pretty good for I think we're pretty good for everything. Right. Let's let's see if we can start uh, loading up the the goods for the groundwater well. Uh, we can also... I, I think I'll leave all of these boosts on for now. Kind of sucks to to do, but I mean, it's kind of necessary, isn't it? By the looks of it. Also, we still need to... We still need to explore the possibility of just digging a big, deep hole in the center of the island. Right. The superhighway is completed. That's great news. Let's edit the area and start... I mean, I don't really want to do anything over there. I, mean, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna start work on this project over here. Is that what the heck is that? There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, start work on that project over there. That's cool. Done loading cargo for the groundwater well. That's very very nice. Still don't have enough maintenance, but that's fine. 
do we want to retire this mine control tower? I'm not really sure that we need it for anything, to be honest. There's a lot of mining operations that obviously still need to be undertaken. Let's... Sand? Whoa, what have you got? Can't deliver sand, no valid destinations. That's okay. Are we good for sand everywhere? Looks like we're good for sand everywhere. Get rid of you there. We've actually... Okay, we got two assigned trucks there. That's fine. That's totally fine. That is good. Uh, yeah, do I want to retire this? I, I feel like I kind of do. Yeah, we'll retire the excavators from, from, this, uh, from this mine control tower. Again, we'll keep the mine control tower around just in case. Not really ever expecting to need it for anything. Maybe we can assign the extra excavator to, to this one over here. Uh, to this mine control tower. Yeah, we can maybe work a little bit a little bit faster on our I guess this is like the the sort of super highway 2.0. It's not really a priority super highway. We've got all of the connections that we need to. I think what we're really going to do once we get the the sort of super highway 2.0 in in place, it's really just about sort of plateauing all of our flat surfaces and making space for building projects, you know, such that we need to get more uh you know, advanced arc furnace 2 copper setups. That's that's quite Quite, quite exciting. Also, why do we struggle with slag over here? Wow, have I finished dumping? Uh, well, that's incredibly surprising. That is unbelievable, almost. Is that going to work? Yeah. I hope so. That is a truly incredible amount of land uh, reclamation that we have that we have undertaken here. We haven't even started on the gold yet, have we? No siree. No siree. Right. Excavator has no reachable terrain designations. I mean, that is potentially nonsense, but maybe not nonsense. Oh, yeah, I see what it is. It's... We need to go... No, okay, we'll need to go uh, a flat 37, flat 37, and then up from there, F37, all the way up to 49, yeah, and then 50 at the top here, which is flat, there we go, right, that should, that should be workable, right? I feel like it's definitely workable. Okay, uh, we fixed the maintenance issue. We fixed the maintenance issue. That's great. We can get rid of Unity. Also, I feel like we might have hit our Unity cap, which is not exactly ideal. Doesn't look like there's any Unity growth, but that might just be... That might just be, you know, a confluence of bad situations. Yeah, because our Unity cap is technically 220. Maybe, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, what did I say our mission was with regards to Unity? Yeah, our mission with regards to Unity is to be able to supply plenty of everything. So that's kind of what we're going for. Which is nice. Uh, maintenance reduction by 15%. I also think that that's probably a pretty good thing to have on, at least for now. The plenty of everything edict is... It's going to be difficult to do. That's a little weird. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to do, but uh, but it's definitely possible. The wastewater treatment plants, they are they are fine. Also, I mean, we keep on getting messages that our, our food is in somewhat of a short supply, but uh, i got to be honest, I, I think that that is an abject lie. We are 100% fertility at all of our farms, I've got to imagine, rotating crops around. Which is good. We're a little bit low over here, but that's because... I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure... I'm sure it's fine. That's okay. 
Uh, Groundwater is a little low in a few places, but again, that's that's absolutely a okay. How are we doing over over here? We are not doing too bad at all. I am worried about the water situation though. Do we have too much water in the outputs? We very well might. Let's put this on keep empty. I mean, I have no idea where we're going to put this excess water. I, are, how are we in a position where we now have excess water on our hands? That is, that is a truly ludicrous situation to be in. But we got to be super careful with our nuclear power setup. You know, I'm just, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I mean, thankfully we had the emergency cooling uh, systems in, in operation. This seems like a bad idea. I, you know, used to have a dedicated cooling line for, for emergencies. Now we're splitting that. This seems like a, this seems like a nuclear disaster waiting to happen. But you know what? I don't care. Let's, let's live dangerously. You know, let's spice it up a little bit. There we go. Nice. And... Yeah. That's probably fine. You know, let's be brutally honest. We can probably... We probably can, can we? We probably cannot have all of the, the, the steam output, you know, going going through one singular pipe so let's let's maybe try and be a bit more a bit more sensible shall we 200 copper we need 200 copper also this needs to get redone because uh we still have space for for more uh yeah don't really want to get rid of that right now let's clone you it's like three quarters of our power generation anyway Ah, we'll redo that in a little bit. A third turbine setup. Wow. I can't believe that it's actually happened. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? Okay, truck cannot reach destination. Where are you trying to go to? Uh, no, you should never, ever go there. I don't know why that was ever set up in that way, but that's fine. Weird. That's okay. Look at how little iron we've taken out of the ground. How do we need such little iron? That really is crazy. I mean, we've got so much steel. We are very, very good for steel. It's just copper, weirdly, that we are... that we're having supply issues with. It's kind of bonkers. It's kind of bonkers when you think about it. It's very bonkers when you think about it. But it's not a problem. Uh, right. Do we want to get... I think we want to get a few more workers. Yeah, I'm going to try and adopt as many workers as I can. Up to 95. That's pretty good. Then we can load the crew onto the boat. And then we can go and get the thingy repaired. The groundwater well repaired. Not like we particularly need excess water at a time like this. Uh, of course, I am aware... <laughs> no. Turn off. There we go. <laughs> there was two trucks... There were two trucks sitting here, just exchanging, just exchanging wood between the two unit storage. I feel like when the unit storage is combined, like when it's right next to each other, it should maybe be considered as, you know, one big unit storage. But what do I know? What do I know? Uh, also, we're having issues with glass mix. We're having issues with salts. What's the issue here? Uh... Missing input, we're just missing brine. Pause that then, maybe that'll uh, fix our issue. I think we're, I think we're just venting one, right? Yeah, we're just venting brine from one straight up. Yeah, steam. And we are still having issues with steam. The other alternative, which I have sort of been toying with in my mind, I mean, we usually have, yeah, we usually have like an insanely large amount of medium oil just kicking around. The heavy oil, not so much, because as it turns out, we're using at least some of the heavy oil for uh, for some stuff. But I wonder, I mean, is there a world in which I can just nab like an output of medium oil over to here and then just set up a 
corresponding sort of storage tank over here for medium oil. I, I know that there is, you know, there's a couple of comments fairly regularly actually talking about how it would be really, really, really beneficial to get, uh, you know, to get gas boilers set up everywhere. And I, I know, I know that it would be, it would be good to get set up. Let's do, keep full. Yep, there we go. It would be good to get them set up, but, um, but yeah, it's a big, it's a big, it's a big issue. Also, I now need more workers. The reason I need more workers is because we've just started, we've just started in the groundwater well, right? What is that? Two shifts? I feel like one shift is all that's required. Yeah, man, I can't wait until we've got more fuel. How much stuff needs to be needs to be built now? I mean, there are a couple of other things to build. Look at how much uranium we've got. Holy cow. I guess we can start repairs of that area. Sure. Don't really think it makes, makes much difference. We still need more workers. I'll nab a few peeps from, I guess, here. Sure. I mean, 2,430 population. That is a, that's a pretty darn big number. Which means that it's going to cost us more power to run the transformer, and it's going to cost us more water to run the city, and it's going to cost us more household electronics, and blah, 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 blah. How are we doing, by the way, household electronics-wise? Total settlement need per month consumed last month, 49. Okay, so we're not actually hitting the household goods. Uh, we're not actually hitting the household goods, uh, goods number that we need to hit. We have too much brine here? Yeah, we have too much brine here. Let's get a little bypass. Little bypass over there. And let's yoink the Let's yoink the extra the extra brine into this evaporation pond. To be honest, this area needs to be redone too, because it's turns out that salt is a pretty essential component of quite a lot of stuff. There we go. And I can't even boost this, unfortunately. Yeah, but we do require Brian over, over here as well. Yeah, it might be worth me getting a second... It might be worth me getting a second pond. Because we're going to probably start to see the brine start to... Yeah, we're starting to see the brine start to backlog over there. Um, yeah, redoing this area seems like a seems like a good idea. Seems like a very good idea. A good thing is, is that we're now using both heavy oil and medium oil. I don't think it's too difficult to, to manage. I think we're coping just fine. We got the connector coming in there. We got medium oil coming in here. We got heavy oil coming in here. Yeah, so that's fine. That's that's fine on uh, on that right there. This is okay because we haven't cranked the. I haven't cranked the setup. Oh yeah, I still need to do the the alternate the alternate route. Let's quick quick remove this, and then we'll immediately like set it back up because we're otherwise going to have major issues. Okay, I should probably have pre-built that. Okay, we're going to start to see this we're going to start to see this nuclear reactor kick off in a little bit. In fact, maybe I maybe I shut it down. That's quite sensible, potato. That's a very very sensible idea. Look at that. The steam is building. Steam is building, but that's okay because we're already, we're already turning it off. We're already turning it off. Now, uh, we probably have, we probably have enough just, you know, coal power just to keep us going for a little bit, but uh, just in case. Okay, we'll go up to the end here. And we'll go down. Kind of want to keep yeah, I kind of want to keep it up high so that we can access down these sort of two channels. Sure. Go for that. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Right, truck cannot reach destination. Where are you trying to go? Ah, no, you don't want to export from there. You just want to export from here. That's fine. Right, so I'm going to quick build this, obviously, because 
I like nuclear power. And I want to see it working. I want to see it working as much as we possibly can. Why do we need more workers? What have I done? What have I brought online? Something. Can't remember what it was. There we go. But that should fix us right up. And just in the nick of time as well. Right, let's restore restore power here. And in fact, we can now restore it to two. Beautiful. And in fact, we can restore it to three. Because even though these uh, these power generators aren't actually working, uh, they are still they're still connected and they're still using steam, which is good. Okay, we can ready we're ready to ramp this up if we need to. We're ready to ramp this up if we need to, but we don't necessarily want to. Not quite yet, man. I am terrified. I'm terrified. I'm just I'm very worried that this is gonna end badly. It's going to end badly at some point, right? Also, uh, let's just... I, I guess I'm just going to go and hire more workers. I, I, I don't know how. I don't know how I need more workers, though. I also need to start upgrade infrastructure on that, uh, on that town. One, two, three. How did I end up needing more workers? I've not finished building anything, have I? I don't think so. Uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm going crazy right I mean yeah it says that we have six months of food we, we really don't we've got more more food than that I mean this is a perfect area to do food production because we have all of these tanks of water which I would like to not automatically empty I would like to not just throw the uh, throw the the waste into the bin that'd be good to to not do uh why are we not able to produce why are we able, not able to produce enough power what's the issue over here we should have no issues with power production like there's there's enough power here for sure and yet it's showing us as having issues max capacity produced is it because the nuclear power jet there's something wrong with the nuclear power generator no? It's fine over here. Missing input. Missing input. Are we just not producing enough steam? Okay, let's crank it then. If you're telling me that we're not producing enough... You're telling me that we're not producing enough uh, enough steam. I'm gonna crank the I'm gonna crank the steam then. I guess it's because oh yeah, it's because we're using these high pressure turbines, but we're not converting that into power. Yeah, that makes perfect that makes perfect sense. Okay, so we do really need to crank it up to three in order to in order to make everything work. Okay, so we should now be operating at maximum capacity, which is a terrifying prospect. Seven percent of our spent fuel storage has already been filled, but that's not an issue. That is not a problem at all. Everything should be... Everything should be humming. This is good. This is good. Very, very, very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, right, back to salt. How are we doing... How are we doing salt-wise? Not bad. I mean, the glass area... Uh, this every, every single area of our operations is currently just like a candidate area for, for upgrades. I don't think that there's a single area that I that I think is perfect. Arc Furnace 2. Does Arc what is what is the what's the recipe for the Arc Furnace 2 give us glass-wise? Graphite plus water gives us molten glass, slag, and steam. I mean, they are great by the looks of it. Hmm. And we're still having issues with maintenance. Yeah, so we gotta we gotta go and sort of plan something out. We gotta go and plan something out. I think we're gonna do I think we're gonna do a copper area over here. Let's 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 think about this. We don't necessarily need to commit to it. We'll just, you know, zoink it into planning mode for a second and we'll see we'll see where it goes. Okay. So we wanna get a lot of copper production. In fact, we wanna get a lot of everything production. I think we'll get We'll get three of these doing copper, right? Crushed copper ore. So this is going to have to obviously have its own setup. But I think we're probably going to want to... 
Molten silicon. Do we want to do molten silicon production over here? I don't think we do. I don't. I really don't even think it's worth us considering doing iron production because we have so much iron ore and there is about a 0% chance that we're ever going to need more iron ore than what we currently have. So let's not worry about that. Maybe it's worth us getting like a couple of things of glass. So maybe you do glass. Right, okay. Let's, let's work backwards. Let's work backwards. So crushed copper ore. So 9 every 20 seconds we use 9 every 20 seconds. So it's a 1 to 1 ratio. So we need to get three copper crushers. One, two, three. Good. And then we'll go... One, two, three over there. And this is going to be our copper storage. I hate that, but prepared to leave it as is for now. Okay, good. Uh, right, so that's copper storage. Then we're going to need graphite, which of course graphite is manufactured through coal. Let's get... See, I'm buffering absolutely everything here. Uh, what's graphite made? Whoa, no, no, no. What happened to the nuclear reactor? Excuse me, please? What? We ran out of water? How? Uh... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna feed back. Gonna feed back that. We're gonna pause this. So that's is the nuclear radiation gonna get worse? I think it might, you know. I think it I think it might. Yeah, it, it looks like it is. Yeah, not enough workers. Yeah, that's what happens when there's a nuclear explosion. Oh my lordy. You know what I think the issue is? The issue is, is that we just don't have... We don't have even close to enough... Oh my god. Air pollution and 2.6% due to radiation. Uh, okay, so we're gonna need to turn on our population growth edict right now. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to do everything that we possibly can just to <laughs> keep the population up. Okay, uh, turn off the maintenance deficit thing. Don't worry about that. Uh, we're going to start adopting people like there's no tomorrow. Although I say that, I think I might have adopted most of them already. Have we got all of the construction components for the for the boat? Uh, settlements? Let's do the settlement. See if we can load up the settlement components. Oh boy, I do not like that. Okay, uh, this, this water area clearly needs to be reworked. I mean, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that it needs to be reworked. Oh, it's on planning mode. Oh, oh, that's bad. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Fine, build that. Build it, build it, build it, build it, build it. Okay, uh, we're gonna be... We're gonna be in a little bit of a dodgy situation. Man, that was... That was not great. Not great at all. Wow, it is a one-to-one -one ratio though. Like we get all of the, we get almost all of the water back. We we're able to, we're able to recycle like fifty percent. No, it's way better than that. Like two hundred eighty-eight to two hundred forty every sixty seconds. Like we get almost all of the water back from this cycle. I think it's just the fact that we need more. We need more inputs. We need more inputs, and we need more. We need more ways to fix problems when they go wrong. Okay, go deliver the cargo over there. That's fine. I think we just need more buffers as well. Okay, I'm going to turn on the reactor, which I know sounds insane. Let's turn it up to... Turn it up to level 1. Pause the output there. Pause the output there. 
Let's just allow steam out through one singular pipe. Yeah, clearly events have gotten a little bit ahead of themselves and we need to we need to fix that. Okay, we still don't have enough workers, but we are we're spending unity like there is no tomorrow and surely, surely sooner rather than later we will be we'll be up to where we need to. Okay. Here's the thing that we need to do. First and foremost, very very importantly, we need to get an isolated an isolated large storage isolated large storage of quick deliver uh, of emergency water right like that is that is imperative like this is this is a no-go this is an absolute no-go disconnect that from there uh the steam just exiting via a smokestack is is not the most efficient thing but at the end of the day i really don't think that we can worry about efficiency uh when you know safety is concerned i think that might be the first time that i have ever said a statement such as that uh, so that's that's imperative and I think I think that our our supply of water should come directly from yeah perfect yeah our supply of our supply of safety water should come directly from this fluid storage the reason that it should be this fluid storage is that it we're already buffering a whole bunch of water over here we're buffering a whole bunch of water over here so if the water comes from the water comes from from this pipe, then we'll be in a position to always supply emergency water. At least, you know, I say I say that. Uh, right. I think we're I think we're fine. I think we actually escaped relatively unscathed from that nuclear disaster. How are we doing? There's still a little bit of radiation, but I think we got out of it. Yeah, we've we've got a couple of free workers. That's not too bad, if you ask me. Let's turn off one of the population growth uh, edict things, and we'll leave the other ones on. Okay, so that's good. Uh, the other thing that we need to consider is that we just need... We just need... Let's have a look. That's filled. Nice. Uh, we just need more... We just need more inputs. We can't funnel everything through one pipe here. That is... That is abundantly clear to me. That is absolutely abundantly clear to me. What we need to do is we need to ditch this pipe... We don't need to prioritize outgoing products anyway, so it doesn't matter. But it does matter that we're able to collision with terrain. That feels like nonsense, really, video game. Right, well, that is going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. Also, I need to quick build that so that we can actually manage. Uh, right, can I? I can't even get a. I won't be able. I won't even be able to get a truck in here. Slightly problematically. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so. Here's the thing. I can always ditch this fluid storage. Like, that's not a problem. But that means that we're only going to be buffering in one singular... One singular storage? Whoa, what? Full output? Yeah, this should be deleted. I mean, we need to... We need to we need to redo this we need to redo this area in its entirety right stop working on that oh boy the safest way genuinely might just be to dump all of our water and then just redo it you know what i think we're gonna i think we're gonna live dangerously I mean, what could possibly go wrong, right? What could possibly go wrong? We have... As long as we have unity, we can always recover our population. That <laughs> sounds so awful to say. Oh, but I'm saying it nonetheless. Okay, you know what? Let's let's ditch our... Let's ditch one of our backups. Let's ditch one of our backup uh, power uh, water storage areas. It's fine. It's fine. Machine is broken as it lacks maintenance. Why, video game? Why? How could it possibly lack maintenance? 
High pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. How does it need maintenance? I mean, we, we're supplying coal. We're supplying copper. We're supplying everything that we bloomin' need. Just fix it. I don't want to. I don't want to constantly have to look at the maintenance stats. I want to look at nuclear stats. I want to look at. I want to look at fun stuff over here. Right. It's too much steam. Too much flipping steam. Oh yeah, that needs to be turned back on. Yeah, turn that back on. That'll, that'll at least you know deal with the problem for now. Whilst we're whilst we're fixing this. Right, so we're gonna destroy we're gonna destroy destroy this fluid storage in just a second. Yeah, things are heating up a little. That's fine. Let's relieve some of the pressure by opening that valve right there. It's gonna take the temperature right down, and it's gonna turn on some more power production for us, which is quite nice. And we'll unpause that pipe too. There we go. It's gonna make this area kind of useless in terms of power production temporarily, but that's fine. Okay. Let's see if we can sustain this level. So let's delete this. Let's quick remove that. And let's yoink this in here. So we do still have a buffer. It's just only 180 units this time. It shouldn't really matter, but it probably will. Let's be honest. Right. Quick deliver and quick deliver. Right. Hopefully we're able to get this up and running before we run out of water here. Otherwise, we're going to go super critical. Well, we're not going to go super critical. We're just going to, you know, start to use the emergency power or whatever. Uh, turn off imports. Turn off imports, exports. Everything should be import and export free here. Right. So the real... The real test is whether this stays full. And whether this stays full. Like, if this... If this holds roughly steady or increases, it means that we are it means that we are fine for water inputs. I think we are okay. You know that? I think I think that we're okay. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think this is very very fine. The only potential issue is what happens when this water gets filled up. Which I don't like the which I don't like the sound of. Uh what we should really do is is rework this area. So we need to redo all of this. Let's quick remove because I'm on a timer here. Because yep, there there we go. That timer has now expired. Go ahead, pipe bouncer. Let's get that in there. Let's get two, two outputs. Output to the right there and output to the left here or whatever you get the picture. Uh, this does not need to be removed. We will use that in just a sec. So we're going to use this as like a sort of temporary little buffer. That needs to be quick removed before I can build the next stuff. Uh, What? Can that not be connect? Okay, all right, weird. We cannot connect that. It's fine. Quick build all of this. And then we will obviously want to prioritize the output to the storage tank. So we want to prioritize outgoing products from ports marked O, but anything else will go into storage over here. That's what we're gonna do. Now, the real question is, will we have enough... Will we have enough output to empty this continuously? I hope we will. This goes on, turned off. This gets destroyed. And then we're pretty happy, I think. Yeah, nice. That's that's pretty good. So that should give us... That should still, that should still all be the same. You know, we still prioritize... We still prioritize water delivery from here, and if not, then we, you know, prioritize water delivery from here, and if not, we prioritize water delivery from here. So that's fine. We're still using, we're still using all of the water in the way that we want to, and it should really be, it should really be the water that is recycled, i.e. the water that comes into this fluid storage place that is drawn from first. And we might even start to see this, this number start to increase, uh, but that's okay. At the end of the day, we shouldn't really be in a position 
we shouldn't really be in a position where we see much water flowing through these pipes at all. It should, re it should really be mostly, mostly here. Uh, I wonder if, again, it's a throughput issue. Let's... Let's do let's do one more of those of those setups. That's fine. It's a really funky setup that we've got here, but it, it, it works. It works. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to it just needs to work, which I guess is the premise of this entire series, right? Prioritize outgoing products from ports marked O again. If it's a throughput issue, we will we will fix it. We'll fix it and then we'll turn that pipe off in the middle and that should mean that the flow is split equally across the two the two outputs which again means that we shouldn't buffer in any of these pipes we shouldn't buffer in any of the other pipes i think i think that is better i think that is better delete that middle pipe as well for good measure yeah that's definitely enough water output that is that is definitely 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 enough water output i'm gonna boost this temporarily because we have just a little bit too much steam in fact do we produce more steam than a single cooling tower can cool? So we turn 48 depleted steam every 10 seconds. But how much steam load do we have but every 10 seconds? That's the real question. Does it say here? We produce 8 every 5 seconds. So that's 16 every 10 seconds. 16 times 3... It's more than 48, isn't it? You bet it's more than 48. So that's part of the issue, is that we actually have too much... We have too much steam going into one singular... One singular tower here. Interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Okay. Uh, yeah, so again, the ratios... The ratios don't perfectly line up. But they line up, you know, not too, not too imperfectly. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be very messy about this. I don't think it really matters uh, how we, how we handle this. I think we should be, for the most part, okay just to split this. I mean, if this, if that could go in there, that would be. Valid connection, okay. There is potentially a way that I get around this. There's no way. I built it. I built it too close. It's fine. Uh, we can, we can, you know, we can start with just one. That's okay. I'm just gonna quick build it all. No reason not to. Right. So that should be that should be okay. That should be okay. And we'll quick build, quick build all of this. We are gonna output just to one singular splitter, which again might not be enough, but uh, or one single balancer, but we'll we'll take that chance. Right. Oh my goodness, this is looking great. This is looking so unbelievably good. At least some stuff has been happening. Useful stuff has been happening, that is. Whilst I've been faffing around trying to get my nuclear power station to work. I mean, look, nobody said that nuclear physics was, was easy, right? Like, that, it's it, renownedly a difficult subject to, to get to grips with. So... There we go. Right. Oh boy, okay. We're still, unbelievably, after all this, we're still fine for Unity. Can you believe it? I cannot. Also, I think I'm going to just quick build these. Uh, you know what? I'll allow truck exports. I'll allow truck exports from that, from that facility right there. Whoa, what's the issue here? PCBs? What's the issue with PCB production? It's glass? Uh, it's definitely accessible. Is it just that we just don't have enough glass production? I, I have kind of known that for a little while now. That we haven't had enough glass production. Primarily because, I mean, all of our glass production is being used automatically rather than being buffered in a, in a storage chest. Uh, so that, that is a bit of a problem for our electronics production. Not enough maintenance. We still don't have enough maintenance. Are you for real? Groundwater well is full output storage. I know I did build a groundwater well this um, 
this time. Okay, uh, it's inaccessible. Right, uh, we turn off truck exports then. That's fine. I will I will build this myself. That's that's okay. I'll build one of those myself. The rest we're gonna have to wait until we produce more copper. I'm afraid. Right. So this is good. This is fine. Nuclear reactor is looking very chill right now. Very, very, very chill. We've buffered the fluid storage over here. We buffered the fluid storage over here. Everything is buffered. Everything. Everything is fine. There is no radiation, which is good. We've recovered from our from our bout of, of, of radiation nonsense, which is nice. <laughs> that's that's good. Uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, fuel station is out of fuel. Why? I mean, we we've got. We do not have tons of fuel. Oh my lordy, what the heck happened to our fuel production? Probably because most of our flipping... Oh no, it's not actually, it's not. We... We're fine. Is it steam? Is it is it the fact that we don't produce enough fuel gas? Is that it? Have I, fi have I finally been, been caught out? I think I, I think I might have been finally caught out. Let's not put that on empty. I think I've finally been caught out. Okay, you know what? Let's pause you and pause you. It's not still not enough. So four every 20 seconds. I'm pretty sure this still is not enough fuel gas, uh, by the way, for what we're looking to do here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try nonetheless. Okay, good. I think it should be this input. Pretty sure it's this input. Yeah, it is. Cool. Okay, we can quick build that. And pause both those units. And we'll just set up a connection here as well. Quick deliver that too. Right. That's gonna get us a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra steam. The other alternative, of course, is that we start to use a gas that we have, you know, more of, like uh, medium, whatever it is, medium oil, that's the one. Or heavy, in fact. But I, I think fuel gas is what I want, you know? Fuel gas is what I want to use. It's, uh... the right gas for the job it's the right gas for the job it's just it's just a little bit fickle a little bit fickle to produce naphtha returning naphtha yeah we can still turn naphtha into diesel that's not a not a big deal uh the good news is is that none of the nonsense over here is impacted by is impacted by that what do we need heavy oil cracking heavy oil light oil diesel we should still have like plenty of diesel here. yeah Woo! We do not have plenty of diesel here. What? Heavy oil's not being cracked. Light oil's not being cracked. Why is light oil not being cracked? Because we've got too much naphtha. Why is naphtha not being cracked? Because we've got too much plastic. I see. I see the issue. I see the issue. So the issue really is because we just don't have enough glass. We're not able to make... Uh... We're not able to make any of our... PCB things. So that's what we call that's what we call a good old fashioned issue. Let's do a let's do a classic orbital maneuver here. And let's just punt the problem into the future. Let's not worry about it now. Right, tree harvester cannot reach destination. Yeah, that's kind of to be anticipated, really. Uh, but we are working on access to this plateau, aren't we? I'll tell you what, why don't we work on it? right now. Well, we don't have fuel. See, that is a, that is a pretty flippin' big issue, to be honest. There we go. Let's work on that over there for now. That is a pretty big issue, but it's okay. I've, um, I've temporarily fixed the, the plastic situation. 
Do we need... Oh, we do need chlorine, actually. We do need chlorine. We don't have much of the chlorine stuff. Fuel gas, fuel gas, fuel gas. We do allow exports of fuel gas here. Maybe if I... Maybe if I put this on keep full. Keep full of fuel gas. Then we'll get to a better position. Or maybe a worse position, you never know. Either way, we should be back up and running soon. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay if we move some of the fuel gas that we've been storing up over, over here. In fact, is this truck doing just that? It absolutely is. Brilliant stuff. What we love to see. And the naphtha is now working. Beautiful. Uh, of course, it is only one... Yeah, it's only one of these routes that we're currently dealing with. Uh, there we go. Try that. Okay, quick build. Yep, let's get it done. Right. No, toggle direction. Now, there is a belt under here, which I'd quite like to... I'd quite like to speed up if I can, but I don't think it's actually accessible for me to click on. Oh, it might be. There we go. Quick build that. Uh, throughout this time, we have produced a tremendous amount of construction component level 3s, which is where probably all of our copper is going, if I'm honest. Get upgraded. There we go. Already, we're pretty much out of plastic, though. Uh, can I just dump plastic in the, in the sea? It's probably not good for the fish, obviously, but, I mean... I still kind of want to. There we go. We should have plenty of diesel now. Man, what a what a bunch of what a bunch of <laughs> genuine crises that have struck us all at once. And I thought I was I thought I was pretty safe on the the diesel front to be honest with you. I thought I was pretty darn safe. Right. We are good. We are good for we are good for fuel gas now for sure. Which means that this entire this entire section of nonsense can get up and running. We still have plenty of rubber stockpiled. Yeah, I think this... Yeah, I think we're going to be back up and running with regards to diesel super quickly. Got medium oil coming in through here. Got plenty of that. In fact, we can we can even turn this... Uh, we can turn this setup back on. Although I don't think that we have any excess pneumonia, do we? No. So we're only going to make a little bit of extra diesel... Pneumonia? Not pneumonia, ammonia. There's a big difference between pneumonia and ammonia, potato. One is a disease, the other is a chemical. Although maybe pneumonia is a chemical too. I'm not sure about that. Uh, that may have fed through to give us slightly less fertility in some of these places. Some of these farms. Uh, you can see that we are a little low on fertilizer in a few places, but... For the most part, I think we're okay. Yeah. Okay. I think we can be relatively happy with this. It's not a perfect solution, but it's not bad. The only potential problem is that if we run out of fuel gas over here, but, I mean, even that I don't think is a, you know, a high likelihood. Nap that fuel gas... Yeah, I think this is okay. We're, we're definitely, definitely making extra diesel. Whether it's going to be enough, I don't know. The thing is that we've been limited on 110 vehicles for like a long time now. So, you know, there's, there's not exactly, you know, there's not exactly going to be an increase in the number of trucks. I mean, at any time, really. I mean, that's, that's it really in terms of, uh, in terms of trucks. Do I want to build more oil rigs? Not really. Um, don't really care. Don't really care about oil rigs. I mean, there is a lot of, you know, there's, there's a, I presume, anyway, a functionally unlimited number of people that we can actually have living in our settlement. So if we wanted to, I think oil is definitely the way that you can sort of exploit the game and, you know, make gas boilers work and get everything sort of up and running on gas and, and, and oil and 
And then you're then you're sort of flying, aren't you? I suppose. Fine for crude. Yep, loads and loads and loads of crude. I gotta say, I do like I do like this setup. I do like this setup. The medium oil, the light oil. It is just plastic. It is just plastic that we need to that we need to get a grip of. I wonder if there's a short-term solution to this. I wonder if there's a short-term solution to this where we just build another blast furnace. And another uh, glass maker thing. We still don't have enough maintenance. How on earth do we not have enough maintenance? What is the issue with supplying copper? Like, how how is this a concern? Like, it just... It's just not a big deal. Like, I, I, the excavators are working. We've got enough of them. It's not like there's other demands in our copper, right? Okay, let's take another excavator off of there and another excavator onto here. Oh, was it a fuel issue? It might have been a fuel issue. It could definitely have been a fuel issue. I'm beginning to think now that it might have been a fuel issue. If so, video game, I, I apologize. That's, that's on me. Right. Here's yet again... Classic orbital potato delaying tactic. Deployed. We're gonna... There we go. It looks funky, but it's fine. Quick deliver. Quick deliver. Quick deliver. Look, we still have tons of unity. We, we are in a great place for unity. Go, 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 go. And we're going to get a level 2 belt here as well. As quickly as we can. Upgrade. Quick deliver. Perfect. Okay. So that is going to allow the production of more... Of more diesel. Which is what matters. More fuel gas. More fuel gas can be turned into... Fuel gas can be turned into diesel. Maybe we boost these two, actually. Although, we probably don't have enough oxygen to to make this work, right? Yeah. Pretty sure I calculated it exactly to, to work. So, maybe even removing... Maybe even removing all of this... All of this plastic won't make a difference. Ah, uh, whatever. It's been built now. Well, we just need to hope that we've got enough copper. Are we getting any are we getting any progress on the power generators over here? Not really. Not really. At all. Maintenance is just such a flipping problem. We need to stockpile way more copper. I think that is abundantly obvious. We need to stockpile more copper or let's return to something which I was building a long time ago. Uh, what do we got? We got three three loose storages over here. I and mean, that feels like not enough, to be honest. I, I genuinely, I think we need to go... I think we need to go a bit crazy with this, because otherwise, I feel like we're just going to constantly have issues. Uh, this all needs to be planningified, by the way. Oh, we can't turn things into planning mode. Fine. Just, just pause for now, then. Okay. Tree Harvester can't reach destination. I really don't care. Video game. It's, it's not a problem. Uh, right. So, about a billion years ago, I went over here to go and check what the building was that we used to make graphite. It is a rubber maker. So, let's take a copy of that. And let's see if we can get a rubber maker zoned in over here. I'm going to get yet more coal storage. You know that? Yet more coal storage. Right. You're going to make graphite. And then the graphite input is via a conveyor belt, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Before we do that, let's get, let's get sand set up. Sand, U-shaped conveyor for sand. We need to go... We need to go up, along, 
and down. Up, along, and down. Uh, this needs to be glass mix, doesn't it? Okay, we'll, we'll deal with this area separately. But glass mix is, what, salt, sand, and something? Salt, sand, and something. That all, that sounds like a, you know, that sounds like a posh bath bomb or something, you know? Oh, limestone and acid. Cripes, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, well, we'll worry about that in a little bit. Let's just, just focus on getting the copper for now. Okay. And then water, water tanks. I mean, I still have no idea how we're going to get the water over here. Uh, probably, maybe groundwater. I mean, we're fine for groundwater, aren't we? Yeah, we are totally, totally, totally good for groundwater. So that is not a cause for concern. Even slightly. There we go. Boost, boost, boost. The crazy thing is, is that... It's not really an issue. I mean, you know, it's a little bit of a setback to have to have to boost this occasionally and to, you know, to get the maintenance and whatnot sorted, but it's not that big of a deal. Like, it's it's fixable. Like, it's, it's not easily fixable, but it, well, it is easily fixable, to be honest. It's, it's not, not a big deal uh, really at all. And it looks like we're fine for fuel now, which is which is great. Our issues are mostly maintenance, which will fix themselves to a greater or lesser degree. Uh, nuclear, yeah, this this is this is a concern. This is a real concern here. I was away to say as the reactor starts to go uh, super hypercritical or whatever the heck it is. Uh, that is a concern. Uh, if we if we don't keep an eye on this, then we will have problems. We will have problems. I think that this, that these all get like priority one, like maintenance and whatnot. Yeah, this needs to be repaired by me. Like th th there is no, there's no way around it. I mean, we just need to constantly have, we need to constantly have all of these low pressure turbines uh, and high pressure turbines, to, to be honest, both of them. Yeah, we, we just need to make sure that they are always, always, always repaired. Less so, less so the power generators. I mean, you know, there is still a breakdown chance, but we actually produce way more power than we actually need, uh, at least for the moment, until we get the Arc Reactor 2s up and running, which, which will be fine, because we'll have enough power. Uh, but then, you know, then there's going to be fairly large demands on, on our power again. We're also running out of uranium rods. Not quickly, but um, but we are running out of them. And that is probably just due to, I guess, some inefficiencies in the process here. Missing input, we need more toxic slurry. Yeah, it could be a number of things, really. Could be a number of things. Oh, doesn't, doesn't particularly, doesn't particularly bother me for now. What does really, really bother me is is the copper setup. That is that is really, 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 really pivotal. Okay, right, so we've dealt with that. Let's get uh, let's get water, water storage. I'm gonna store water over here. I don't think that we're gonna need access to this area, but even if we do, I think we should still be able to get access to this area if we need to. Uh, we can maybe dump a few bits and bobs over here. Doesn't particularly matter. Uh, right, let's attack from the back. Guess I might as well set up. And eh, no, I don't want to set up water over here. That's fine. But don't worry. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We can deal with that later. Okay. Next thing. Let's buffer our output of graphite. We'll buffer it straight into a chest. And then we can just do some weird and wiggly belts all the way along here. And to be fair, there is no real reason that we can't also stick graphite into here nice okay so that's good that's really really good what do we get 16 16 glass every 20 seconds what does this give us uh this thing 16 glass every 20 seconds 
But it costs us one less coal, I guess. In fact, maybe, maybe a lot less coal. What's the recipe for, for graphite? Yeah, it costs us a lot less coal and we get high pressure steam out of it. Which I'm still not really certain that I know what I want to do with this high pressure steam. I mean, we can turn it back into water. Uh, in a in a large cooling tower or whatever, but I don't know if that's if that's what we want to do. Ooh, have we finished our we finished our little ramp up here? We have indeed. Oh yeah, and as a consequence, what do you know? The the tree harvester is now able to access this plateau, which is very very nice indeed. Okay, uh, let's continue. Let's continue to try and mine out access over here. Uh, but we now can, if we want to, anyway, start building the copper setup, which is quite nice. Quite, uh, quite good, quite good timing, if I do indeed say so myself. I just don't know. I just don't know what we want to do. The slag, slag output is easy. I mean, the slag output is, is just dump worthy. We dump it in the ocean. That's fine. Oh, is that some more speck of, uh, some more specks of gold? I think it is. Very cool. Uh, we have 140 workers free. Have we still got that growth edict on no we don't we're 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 back sorted oil rig i really don't want to get another oil rig we need to do something with the groundwater pump as well maybe we get maybe we get a, a, a boat a boat for groundwater pump there was there was another option of building a harbor over here which i was kind of entertained in the idea of considering uh just as like another redundancy for for water for the nuclear setup because you know believe it or not there is a there is a world where we get a second nuclear power setup um and to be honest i think that world is this one i, I think that that is definitely coming i don't think it's coming yet though i think the you know there are much more fundamental problems that we need to deal with uh, you know copper being copper being one of them maintenance being you know the the obvious the obvious consequence that comes from having a pretty miserable uh, copper setup we're not in a bad place, but as we build more stuff, more stuff requires maintenance, and we need more maintenance. It's just that simple, really, um, unfortunately. More food, redoing the food is another one. Fertilizer, food fertilizer. Yeah, that's another one. Uh, gas boilers, I mean, that's a, you know, it's not an easy fix, but it's heavy oil. Yeah, hydrogen, ammonia. Yeah, we're not getting ammonia. We're not getting ammonia over here. We just need we just need more maintenance in general. Ah, but it's not a it's not necessarily a problem. It's not a huge problem anyway. I think it's okay. And the way that breakdowns work uh, is that there's you know 41% breakdown chance. It's not great. It's not great at all. But it's it's far from it's far from chronic. Far 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 from chronic. The weird thing is that our maintenance does seem to be going down even though. The maintenance of our of our high priority stuff does seem to be going down, even though uh, it is high priority, which is which is a bit concerning. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to get the. I have to pause pause construction of level two construction components for a little bit, and of course that means pausing level three construction components for a little bit. But we've got eight hundred of the darn things, so maybe we should just focus more of our resources solely on actually dealing with the crises that are that are facing us right now. Um, I say that. And then I'm going to immediately abdicate that responsibility to a future potato in a future episode. Uh, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this episode right up. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you'll tune into the next one. For now and from me, it's goodbye. Check out the Patreon page if you're interested in helping make videos like this, pos this possible. Uh, thanks as ever to the fantastic Patreons that we already have subscribed over there. Thanks very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.